happy spring morning. Today is really spring. There's no frost. There wasn't a whole bunch of wind. There's a possibility that we're going to hit the 60s today. And in some areas, we might hit 70. Can y'all believe that? Is that not the coolest thing? And today, I'm in red and black in honor of my buddy, Mike Smith. I keep reading this book. I keep sharing this book with y'all, and I'm going to share it, share it, share it, because, you know, my brain only thinks in 30-second increments. That's what my producer, Fred Wyndham, used to say. He'd say, do a 30-second spot, and I'd do it. And he'd say, how do you know it's 30 seconds? I said, my brain shuts off after that. So these books are so simple, or this book is so simple because it has short stories about when God shows up. You know that God shows up every single day. So today, as I was getting ready, I had this deal this morning. I was going to chase the sunrise. <laughs> Me and the sunrise did not get along. I thought it was going to be here, and it was over here. And I was like, what is wrong with you? So I gave up, and I went back, and I got some pictures I'd taken a while back. I'm doing a little promo thing for a billboard, and I said, i got to have this shot Forget it. It didn't turn out like I wanted it to, so I went back to the old photography, and I found what I needed. So that's all that matters. If if life throws you lemons, what do you do? You make lemonade. So this morning, I said, I'll just make some lemonade. And I hope y'all paid attention yesterday when I asked you if you have this cookbook. This is an old Eastern Star cookbook. Came out of the ball ground area. Tell me what year you think this was produced because nowhere in this book is there a date. And I really, really, really want to do a comparison and I'm working on a couple of recipes that I'm going to make and I'm going to choose the ingredients and I'm going to try to find out what they cost when this book came out. I think this book was probably a 70s book, 1970 maybe. But I'm guessing, so I'm guessing kind of the age of where it came from. So we'll see. Um, today, prayer request as always, our buddy Wheezy from the office. Um, Louise Brown is just the coolest, sweetest lady, and her husband Robert has been in the hospital, and so we want to ask prayers for him. We also want to ask you to do something that I love, and you ladies are going to love this. Have you ever heard the saying, shop till you drop? Shop till you drop. Well, I shopped, I didn't drop. But I shopped and shopped and shopped, and I shopped at somewhere that is very, very close to my heart. And I want to share some things that I got, and then I want to share the bargain prices because as spring comes, those sweet little grandbabies are going to be needing some spring and summer clothes. And I want to really throw a shout out to these folks down at Angel Babies Boutique. Angel Babies Boutique was, it came about many, many, many years ago. Mary Ellen Childry was the first person who got me involved in this, and she said, please support this effort. This is a store based on the effort to either adopt. The whole point is do not abort. And um, if you are a mom and you're facing having a baby that you think you can't handle or you can't afford or there's a situation that you're not able to take care of this child, you can always do an adoption. And Angel Babies also teaches single moms who decide to keep their babies how to parent, how to feed, how to nurture, how to get a job and take care of your child. And these are clothes. I bet you can guess who I bought these for. These came from Angel Babies. And I can't wait to show. Zanna loves to play dress up. Zanna is only 19 months old. But she loves to change clothes and change shoes. And these cutie pies, and I know her mom is going to love this because her mom's like her nanny. She loves to dress this baby up. And I'm going to show you everything I got. And then when I tell you the price, you're going to go, what? Cute, 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 cute dress. So cute. She loves dresses. She loves being a prissy missy. And this, this is so sweet. Is that not, can y'all not just see Zanna in this? Can you not just see Zanna in this? And I got these because picture day at her daycare. She needs these to wear under the cute little dress I got her. So this, y'all, it's too big for her now. But I could not resist. Is that not the sweetest thing? <gasps> How cute is that? How cute is that? And again, all these clothes came from Angel Babies. This might be my favorite outfit. Look at that prissy missy. So prissy, little top with little pants. 
And if you've been shopping lately, y'all are going to faint when I tell you the price for what I paid for all of these clothes. Absolutely amazing. And is this not precious? Oh my gosh, y'all, look at that. How sassy, how sweet, how cute, how cute, how cute. Love it. Zanna is going to love this. Now, Zanna is, she's a little bit like her nanny. She likes going to the closet and dragging out clothes. So, and this, this is what attracted me when I first walked in the door. Is that not just the sweetest thing? Guys, I got all of this. And I could have saved more money. If you go to Facebook and you go to Angel Baby's Boutique and you sign up and you follow them, you will get discounts on shopping there. I did not get a discount. My total purchase for all of this was $32.10. Now think about that, guys. This dress in a department store would have been $30. I mean, it's crazy. This dress would have been $20. I mean, it's nuts. Angel Babies is open a few days a week. It is located, how can I explain this to y'all? If you're an old timer like me and you know where the old Dairy Queen used to be on 05 going out of Jasper toward the high school and you know where Cares Way is, if you know where the thrift store is in Jasper, it's Angel Babies. When you first turn in, it's on the left. It has, um, you'll have to check out their website or their Facebook page and see what hours they're open. I caught them open yesterday. I've been there on Fridays when they were really, really busy. And I was like, oh my gosh, there's not even a parking place. But all these clothes, this little dress was $5. Is that not the sweetest thing? So I'm, I'm so excited. I can't wait till Zanna sees these. She'll be just like, oh. And I got her lots of shoes to go with them too. So um, got them in another place and got great discounts on that. It's spring, summer's gonna be here. Don't stress out about going and buying your kids a bunch of new clothes. This is the way to do it. And they have from newborn, I think I saw some fives. I'm not sure I saw any sixes, but for the first few years of their life and, and angel babies, every cent they make goes back into helping single moms, helping those who choose to <coughs> create a family with their children and this helps them learn to nurture, learn to take care of them. It gives them support that they greatly need. And it stops abortion. And that is so amazing to me. So um, get out and support Angel Babies Boutique. Now, today, we are going way back, guys. We're going so far back. You remember, Heart of the Home was kind of one of those accident things. Lori Tipton walked into my office and she had seen a couple of interviews I had done with different people and, and I think seen the article about Harris Farm and when I was remodeling that. And she said, I'd love for you to do a cooking segment. And I said, I don't have time for that. I just don't have time for that. And my secretary looked at me and said, yeah, you need to make time. That'll be fun. And I said, I don't have time for that. Well, I kind of edged it in there. And the first night we shot five five-minute segments. Now, it or four-minute segments. It, you think, well, you could do that in 30 minutes? No. By the time you have to cook the food, prepare the food for the next recipe, and we have to wait till it cooks, it took us till after midnight, and we started about 4 o'clock in the afternoon. But we got the first five, five segments done. I was hooked. I absolutely loved it. It was so much fun. And then I decided I wanted to do it as a 30-minute deal and um, wasn't going to work out the way I had it planned. So I got a producer from Atlanta, and I said, listen, can we do this? And he said, well, I'm retired. And I said, oh, come on, let's do it anyway. He came back to work, and the rest is history. We did it for years. Absolutely loved every minute of working with Fred Wyndham together. We just, we made magical television. We laughed. We giggled. Sometimes things would go absolutely crazy, and nobody would know behind the scenes what was happening, and we would just turn the cameras off and just start rolling. It has always been fun, and I've loved every single minute of it. I love being in the kitchen, and I hope that we can encourage you with what we're going to do today to get in the kitchen with your kids, your grandkids. Don't forget to share the recipes. When I looked at this old cookbook, this is many of the older ladies that I know in the North Georgia mountains. They save these recipes through this cookbook, but their children and grandchildren will look at this cookbook and they won't understand some of these recipes. They won't understand some of the terminology that's used in it. While you're still here, get your children and your grandchildren in the kitchen. 
get them in the kitchen with you, have fun with them, and enjoy every single moment. Now, we're going to share some photos today that I just popped in when I got here today. And I want to share what's going on in ball ground. We've got so much happening. We've got growth. We have new events coming in. We have a, um, uh, this is the Lake Lanier house that is going, is on the market right now. It is going to be, we're going to be taking offers over $600,000. This has a, I guess it's a two-decker dock is what you call it. It is on Lake Lanier. It is very, very easy to get to. And this is the house that we saved out of foreclosure. But it does still have to sell. And the family will then, the two heirs will get to share the money. So I'm so thankful that this, this happened. So if you have a customer, if you have a client who is looking for Lake Lanier property, <coughs> and it really is very, very close to 400. This is a three-bedroom, three-bath it's a home that you walk right down to the water, you get in your boat, and you go enjoy every single moment of Lake Lanier. The fishing is great. The boating is great. Um, it's a great place. You could do an Airbnb here if you purchased it as an investment. So don't forget, um, it, is, it is spring, it is summer is coming, and people are going to be flooding the lake. They're going to be wanting to go to the lake. And when they go to the lake, you want to have a home that you can share. Now, there's the view from the sunroom. And I, I would probably get addicted to that sunroom. When I was over there kind of organizing and cleaning out stuff, I was like, holy cow. And, yeah, I would, I would be sitting there on that deck. I'd have to stay out of the sun, so I'd have to maybe get on a float underneath that um, cover. But I would do something to enjoy that beautiful view. And, again, this is Lake Lanier just off 400 at highway 53 in dawsonville so great great area and and the neighborhood is good just a, a beautiful beautiful spot and again we're going to be taking offers over six hundred thousand dollars and um, we have one offer on the table and we have to deal with probate court so we hope that everything goes now today because we're looking back and we're really really throwing it back that's my favorite photo of me ever and when i look at xana's curly hair I think maybe I had something to do with Zanna's curly hair because her mom doesn't have curly hair. Dad didn't have curly hair. I don't know where she got the curly hair except for me, and she got lots of it. So that kind of reminds me of Zanna a little bit, all them curly, curly, curlies. And uh, at one point in time, I, my hair all fell out, and it came back so curly it was crazy. Mama said, I don't know what happened. And there, y'all look at that. He is playing t-ball now, and it just blows my mind how fast he has grown. We look around and those grandbabies, those great, great grandbabies are graduating high school before you know it. It's just absolutely crazy. That's my Aunt Louise. And uh, look at my curly hair. It was even curlier than Xana's. Goodness gracious. Curly, curly, curly. But I'm so thankful for the strong women in my life who helped me. And without them and without God's guidance, I would never have made. Now look at that curly locks. Look at that curly locks. Oh, my gosh, and she started that pooper now. She was not doing a passy, and now all of a sudden she is, and we're like, oh, no, we are in so much trouble. She's drinking out of her juice bottles and her, her milk bottle, but she likes those. Now, this, I love that little boy. He was so sweet, and he, they bought this land up in Gilmer County, and they're going to get to run and play and take this child to the creek and then just enjoy country living. And there's so many kids who've never done that, never got to it ever go out and just run around and chase the bees, chase the birds, chase the fishes, and, and look, she loves blueberries. Can y'all tell she loves blueberries? Look at that hair, curly, curly, curly. I don't know where she got it, but I think I know, so yay. And, and Zanna loves fruit. Oh my gosh, give her a peach, give her a banana, give her blueberries. This is what ball ground is beginning to look like that was the beginning of developments. And now when you go down there, it's very, very different. And we have a whole lot of houses there, but we are preserving the past while we embrace the future. And we are trying to maintain the lifestyle. We love the quiet, easygoing lifestyle of ball ground. And we hope that everybody who comes there comes there because they want that peace and serenity. <clears throat> and just the sweetness of, of being in that town. It's just, it's precious. Absolutely precious. 
and that is standing on the front porch. Now, is that not the coolest sunset? Just standing on the front porch. And it happens often. Um, it's weird. And this morning when I was trying to catch that sunrise, I got so tickled at myself. I said, well, boy, you missed it today because the timing changed and I was so confused by it. But, but the mountains are calling and they're closer than you think. If you're looking for property, if you're looking for a second home, visit any of the towns that we serve and get out and just, and look at those, just those little pink clouds in the sky. It's just, it's so pretty. And these are all gifts from God. They don't cost us a thing. We can get out and enjoy this every day. So get out, take a ride. One of my favorite things is visiting the old buildings in Ball Ground. And we've got some really cool old buildings. So um, get out and get to know. And this is, uh, that's before the first bucket of dirt was moved. And now we've made a lot of progress. The park has grown, the walking trails have grown, everything is changing, but we are maintaining the past too. You know, we're preserving the past as we move forward. Now this, I'm gonna challenge everybody, go to Dial, Georgia, go up Aska Road, get out and ride around over the spring break. Get out and explore places you have never been. Do not say, I've been to the mountains and you just go down to the roundabout. You just go to downtown Blue Ridge. You just go to downtown Jasper. Get out and explore the mountains. This house is featured on YouTube. And, and this bridge, I love this bridge, but they're building a new bridge next to it. And I hope it doesn't mean they're going to close this one. But this is in Dial, Georgia. If you haven't been to Dial, Georgia, it's a beautiful drive. It's a great area. Absolutely fantastic for just a daycation. You can stop at any of the little restaurants along the way. You can stop at an old country store and get you a pack of crackers and a Diet Coke. You know, just, just get out and enjoy. And, and that's what it's about. These mountains are open for business. Many, many shopkeepers have, have struggled. Now, this is in LJ, and this is on Boardtown Road. And everybody knows Boardtown Road is kind of like my, my favorite road to travel on. I love it, love it, love it. <clears throat> and it is because some of my dearest friends, the Moles, lived on Boardtown Road for over 50 years. And I adored them, loved visiting them. And uh, this is up in one of my favorite towns. If you've ever been to Hartwell and you have been to Lake Hartwell, this is in that area. And again, it is an easy drive from here. So get out and, and visit these beautiful, beautiful towns. And uh, don't say... Hey, we went to the mountains, and then you come back and you have a picture of 515. Uh-uh. That's not going to the mountains. That's going to the mountains. You see those mountains in the background? This is Malone's Pond, and it is as it is probably today. It still looks similar to that. We have um, concrete poured and driveway poured on the first house there. That got done yesterday. Progress is being made. We have five houses ready for occupancy by the middle of June, which is really, really cool, and we're really excited about that. But see those mountains? The mountains are calling, and they are closer than you think. And that mountain, it's in Blue Ridge, LJ, Jasper. Get out, get off 515. <laughs> and just take a few back roads and, um, you know, put it in your GPS that you want to go to Copper Hill, Tennessee, but you want to do the back roads. You will love the trip. You will love the views. You will love meeting people and stop at a little country store and say, hey, we're not from around here. And they will say immediately, we could tell that right off. So we're going to take you back to Heart of the Home when it first started. I have no idea what Trace has pulled up because I said, let's go way back. And so we are going way back. And I will tell you, when I cook, I often use things that my grandmother, my great-grandmother, my great-aunt Leela, my great-aunt Tempe, things that they gave me. When I walk in my kitchen, I feel pure pleasure and joy in sharing the things that they taught me. And that's what Heart of the Home was built around. So we're going to take you now, I hope, Maybe Von Seal Moser might be the first guest, but I don't know. So here we go.